So let's go over how we can perform this test for independence using StatCrunch. So this question says, an author argues that more American-born baseball players have birth dates in the months immediately following July 31st, because that was the age cutoff date for non-school baseball leagues. The table below, so this one, lists the months of births for a sample of American-born baseball players and foreign baseball players. Using a .01 significance level, is there sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim that months of births of baseball players are independent of whether they are born in America? Do the data appear to support the author's claims? So the null hypothesis here is going to be that the months of births of baseball players are independent of whether they were born in America or not. So that means the alternative hypothesis needs to be that they are in fact dependent on where they were born. So that's going to be option A right here. So now that we've got the hypothesis all set up, we need to find our test statistic. So we're going to do this using StatCrunch. I'm going to go up here to my table and click on the little blue box in the top right corner and I'm going to select Open in StatCrunch. So this is opened up. Let's see if we can make this bigger. So this has opened up this contingency table inside StatCrunch. So we can see here we have the two rows of where the player was born, so born in America or foreign born, and then along the top we have all our categories, all the different months that someone could have been born. So to perform the hypothesis test here to get the test statistic and the p-value, I'm going to go ahead and go to Stat, Tables, Contingency, with Summary. So Stat, Tables, Contingency, with Summary. So in the first section here, I want to select all the different columns. So all the columns were the different months that were the different categories that we had. So the easiest way for me to select all these columns is if I click inside and then I hit Control A, it will highlight everything for me. However, notice, let's see if we can scooch this over, it's also highlighting the column that in this case is called VAR1. This is not actually a column that has numbers of frequencies in it. This is the column that had the row categories, the row labels for the two different categories here, born in America or not. So that is not one of the columns that has my data values in it, so I want to unselect that. To do that, I'm going to hold the control key down on the keyboard and click just that VAR1. So see, now we have everything selected except for the VAR1, only the months. If I go down here to row labels now, VAR1 is where my row labels were, right? That was the column that had the row labels for the born in America row and the foreign born row. So I'm going to select that. If you scroll down, what I want to conduct here is a chi-squared test for independence. So this is already selected for me, but just to be sure, make sure you double check that we are trying to do a chi-squared test for independence. And that's all I need to change. So I'm going to go down and click Compute. So here I have the test statistic value and I have the p-value. So first I was asked to identify the test statistic. So this is the test statistic, 19.604, and I was asked to round to three decimal places. So I'm going to go ahead and put in here 19.604. And we're going to go ahead and check that. So that's correct. Next, we're asked to identify the p-value, so I'm going to go back to my stat crunch. The p-value is 0.0511. So back to my answer field, for the p-value, I'm going to put in 0.051, rounded to three decimal places. So that is correct. So now I need to state my final conclusion. So here, my two options are do not reject or reject H0. So remember how we determine that. What we need to do is take this p-value that we've obtained and we're going to compare that 
to the significance level that we got in the question. Now in this case, the p-value is 0.051 and the significance level is 0.01. So the p-value is bigger than the significance level. When the p-value is bigger than the significance level, we do not reject H0. Now remember, if we scroll back up, H0 in our case said that the months of birth of baseball players are independent of where they were born. And what was our claim? The claim was that the months of births of baseball players are independent of where they are born. So H0, in fact, did include our claim. And we just decided that we were not going to reject H0. In other words, we did find some evidence to support it. So down below, we would say there is sufficient evidence, no, sorry, beg your pardon, there is not sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim that the months of births of baseball players are independent of where they are born.